Once Upon a World, Cinderella, written by Chloe Perkins and illustrated by Sandra Equia. Once upon a time there was a girl who lived in a little cottage with her stepmother and two stepsisters. The girl was kind and caring and she had a good heart. Oh, but her stepmother was cruel. She made the girl sweep the floors and clean the fireplace like a servant. Each day the girl became filthier from all her chores. Because she was always covered in dust from the floors and cinders from the fireplace, her wicked stepsisters named her Cinderella. One day, while Cinderella was scrubbing the walls, there was a knock at the door. It was the king's messenger. Cinderella listened in on the conversation. The messenger said, There will be a grand ball at the palace. All the ladies of the kingdom are invited. Cinderella's stepmother went straight to the marketplace and bought the most beautiful fabrics and ribbons and jewels she could find. Here, Cinderella, she said when she returned. Now, you will sew us three fabulous dresses to wear to the ball. Cinderella spent all day and all night sewing the dresses. Finally, as the sun began to rise, she was finished. Her stepsisters marvelled at their beautiful gowns. Cinderella wished she could go to the ball with them, but she knew her stepmother would never allow it. So she got back to her chores. That night, Cinderella bid farewell to her stepmother and stepsisters as they left for the ball. When they had disappeared from view, poor Cinderella fell down in tears. Suddenly, she heard a voice. My dear, what's all this crying? Cinderella wiped her eyes and saw a kind-looking woman who seemed to be floating. She was shining and sparkling and holding a wand. Who, who are you? Cinderella asked. Why, I am your fairy godmother, said the woman. Tell me what you wish for, dear. I wish to go to the ball, replied Cinderella. The fairy godmother smiled. With a few flicks of her wand, things around them suddenly began to shine and sparkle too. Poof! A pumpkin became a beautiful carriage. Poof! Three mice became horses. Poof! The old farm dog became a handsome coachman. Finally, poof! Cinderella's tattered dress became a magnificent ball gown and her old shoes became delicate slippers made of glass. As Cinderella stepped into the carriage, her fairy godmother said, This magic will wear off at midnight. You must return before then. And off the carriage went. When Cinderella arrived at the palace, everyone thought she was a beautiful princess from a faraway land. They all wanted to talk and dine and dance with her, even Cinderella's own stepsisters. But it was the charming prince of the kingdom who asked her for a dance. Cinderella and the prince danced for hours. Please tell me your name, said the prince. But just as Cinderella was about to answer, the clock struck midnight. The spell would soon be broken. Without another word, Cinderella hurried away, accidentally leaving one of her glass slippers behind on the palace steps. She raced home, and as the spell wore off, her beautiful gown turned back into rags. The next day, Cinderella's stepsisters told her all about the ball and the mysterious princess who had captured the prince's attention. They were jealous of this mystery girl. Suddenly, there was once again a knock at the door. And once again, the king's messenger was there. But this time, he was with the prince. The prince was searching for the young woman he danced with. He was determined that each lady in the kingdom would try on the glass slipper until he found its owner. Both of Cinderella's stepsisters tried on the shoe. It was teeny tiny on the first stepsister's foot. And it was too big on the other stepsister's foot. Then Cinderella came into the room. 
The stepsisters thought it would be funny to have her try on the glass slipper. After all, it would never fit Cinderella. Try it, Cinderella, they encouraged, laughing. But when the prince slipped the shoe onto Cinderella's foot, it was a perfect fit. The prince recognised her instantly, even without her beautiful ball gown and sparkling jewels. Cinderella's true beauty shined through. Cinderella and the prince embraced, overjoyed that they had found each other. Then, in the castle where they had met, Cinderella and the prince lived happily ever after. <laughs>